FreeRTOS native API. FreeRTOS API conventions. Just to be aware about the main components, uh, main uh, conventions used within the naming at uh, FreeRTOS API, let's spend a while here. The code of FreeRTOS uh, is written in a very clear way and the uh, naming convention is very intuitive. So you can see within all of the variables names as a prefixes the information about the type of the variable itself. So for example C means char, S short, L long, X port base type defined in port macro.h file. It is uh, typical for each platform which is uh, used within FreeRTOS. So for example in STM32 it will be long, then U is assigned and P is pointer. For the function name, it is very nice naming convention implemented. So the beginning, the prefix is telling us about the return value. So V is void, X returns port base type and PRV is private. Then there is a file name where the function is defined. So for example, the task means that the function would be defined within the task.c file. And the last part is a function name. So in this example, it will be the priority set. So the complete function name would be v task priority set. It would mean that this function will return void, so no return value in fact. Its name it will be priority set and it will be located within task.c file. A part of the functions within the FreeRTOS API, we've got a couple of macros which help us to perform some basic operations during the work of operating system. So all of the macros has as well the prefixes which are specifying uh, where the macro is located. So for example, port, like uh, port max delay, it's uh, located within portable.h and it's typical for the port or for the architecture we are using now. Then the task, prefix task, like task enter critical, is located in task.c.h file, then pd, it's a project that defines like pd true then config config use preemption as an example it will be located in freer to config.h file and err like errq full would be defined in project defines as well then we've got some common macro definitions like pd true pd false pd pass and pd fail which is more descriptive way on showing what is going on as a result of the function or macro mixing free artos api and cmc's os api cmc's os api and free artos api coexistence so CMC SOS API is a simple additional software layer over FreeRTOS API code. But not all of the features of FreeRTOS API are available directly from CMC SOS API. So it is sometimes uh, important to have the possibility to use those uh, full features of FreeRTOS API and uh, this is why it is possible to use an additional FreeRTOS API modules together with CMC SOS code like uh, task notifications or event groups. There are, let's say, big differences in queues data structures, task notification handling, so it's much more simplified within CMC CMCSS, and priority names. So please uh, take care uh, on those components while you're mixing the API, CMCs and FreeRTOS ones. Main operating system handlers are just a type def from the FreeRTOS to CMCs. We can monitor it within CMCs underscore OS dot H file, like for example task handle underscore T, which is from FreeRTOS API. It is mapped to OS treat ID. Then timer is uh, the same story, then semaphore, mutex and uh, queue. So it is worth to check whether the handler is exactly the same structure and if it's the case, it is much easier to mix the, fu the functions from FreeRTOS and the CMC's OS. Thank you for watching this video.